was expected or it's, it's kind of a surprise? Yeah, it's never expected. I just try to go out there and really compete with the rest of the girls. The caliber of the field is usually so high every time you step on a track. And so my goal was just to get out there and run my best ability against them and see what happened. Questions? Why have you decided to go to uh, Uregan? Uh, Uregan is very well known for middle and long distances, but for sprint, it's a surprise to choose the Oregon now. Yes, it was definitely a gamble, but uh, in high school I had sort of an accident, and so it ended up me having my choices for college really narrow. And so Oregon was one of the schools that kind of wanted to take a chance on me, so I decided to take a chance on them. And it's pretty much the best decision I probably could have had in my life, because I've grown so much there and matured in the sport and as a woman in life. Is this your first trip outside of the United States? Uh, Almost. I, I ran in the uh, relay camp over in Monaco for the Olympic team, but okay. it's definitely it's starting to become a home since I keep traveling to France. Monaco's a bit different from everywhere else in Europe. What are your impressions so far of what you've seen of Paris and uh, the rest of France? I love it. It's beautiful. You know, I've had a chance to sit at a cafe and eat outside and try new things, and you know, I'm just truly blessed to have this opportunity. I never thought that one day I'll be able to sit in the hotel across from the Eiffel Tower, so I'm definitely enjoying the moment and just elated that I'm here and getting this opportunity. What about your next races around Europe in the lead up to the World Championships? What have you got planned? I'm not really sure yet. I'm uh, playing everything by ear, really uh, probably going around London and going to the training camp and stuff like that, but I'm really just wherever the wind blows me kind of thing, and I'm just excited to be here. And what do you expect for the, for the race tomorrow um, against uh, Shelly Hart, for, for example? You, what are your expectations? She's a phenomenal runner, and I'm so excited that I'm able to run with some of these girls that I've watched since I was younger and little. And so these girls, they're going to bring their best. And my thing is just try to get out there and compete with them. I know my capabilities and I know what I've trained for and how long I've trained and I'm excited to get out there and see what I've got. And so it's just going to be a great experience and they've taught me so much unintentionally just by example. And so I'm just going to go out there and just try to do everything I learned and get out there and compete. We can expect a new generation of U.S. printers after the Jamaican domination, now the, the USA are back, back on top. We definitely want to get, get up there in ranks a little bit more. Uh, this is going to be an exciting year for us because all the faces in the 100 are new. And so it's definitely going to be a fun experience. We're all young and, you know, we just want to learn and keep going. So we'll, we'll do the best we can and get out there and compete with the rest of the world. It's a long season after NCAA season. Uh, yeah, you're still fresh or you feel a little tired? I planned accordingly in NCAA, raced a lot less this year than usual, and so it definitely has set me up in a position where I'm able to get out here and compete in these long, you know, this long summer. You said your father was your first coach. What's his name? Anthony Garner. And is the British connections there because of your name? Why are you, why are you called English? Did they ever tell you? Um, so when I was in my mother's stomach, she said that I was the most restless baby she's ever carried in her life. And she said, I kicked all night, all morning, I never stayed still. And so she had an epiphany that whatever she was carrying, boy or girl, was going to be something phenomenal. And she wanted a name that people would never forget and that sound rich over an intercom. <laughs> and so, so from sorry, that, that would sound, sound rich, wealthy oh. over an intercom. Okay. And so she sat there and she thought of her name and she came up with English Gardner. And I can by far say that it always has a ring. People love it and they hate it and it's definitely stuck on me throughout these years and, you know, gave me a good push. Do, you, do your brothers and sisters have interesting names like I'm like the that? only one oh, with the interesting name. <laughs> we asked uh, shelly Ann the same, or I asked shelly Ann the same question. When you see some great result coming through, let's just take kelly Ann Baptiste, 1083, you suddenly then go, wow, let's get on YouTube, let's see what they've done, let's check out how they ran that race. You know, it, sometimes. Uh, this time I haven't. My, my thing is this year, you know, I'm out here, I'm a rookie year, I have nothing to lose in all the games, so I'm just going to try to get out there and run just like I have been running all year and just trying to perform and do the best I can. 
I ran in my U.S. trials, not watching anyone racing, and I think that that plan has kind of worked out for me so far. So, just trying to keep my focus on the main goal, and that's getting out here and competing to my best ability. I know you just as coach, but can you explain why? He's a phenomenal coach. As you can see, he's coached Jason Richardson, Carmelita the Jetta, Ryan Bailey, and so he's had a lot of success even throughout the years before I was even born. And so I did my research and I found out, you know, I think we, we had the best fit. Our connection is great. We work well together in the little time that we have worked. And so I'm excited for the future and excited to see what's come. You already moved to uh, Los Angeles? Or? Yes, I've been in Los Angeles for a few weeks now. Do you feel you're uh, an Oregonian or more from New Jersey? <laughs> I always say Oregon is my second home. You know, I bleed green and yellow. You know, I love the school to the day I die. And so I'm definitely a New Jersey girl. I'm definitely a Jersey girl, but I love Oregon and I couldn't pick any other place I'd rather be besides home in New Jersey. But LA is totally different. I'm from sorry. Eugene, LA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> LA Eugene is definitely different. I remember the first Both week. Funny. Yes, I remember the first week in practice. I was like, man, I don't even know what this bright thing in the sky is. I've never seen it before. So it's definitely a different experience. But I'm loving every moment of it. I'm blessed and I'm excited that I'm getting this opportunity. Don't want to panic you, but we've got probably 52,000 plus people in the stadium on Saturday. I mean, you've probably never run in front of that sort of audience before. What's your thoughts on that? I love it. It's it's something about a stadium when they're screaming. Even if you don't even know if they're screaming for you, the energy inside the stadium definitely drives athletes. And so I'm excited. I just want to bask in it and enjoy the moment. You know, I remember the uh, first time I ran at Oregon, and I come from a small city in New Jersey, and so you don't ever have a lot of people at the meets. But at Oregon, it was 10,000, 15,000 at a meet. And so I thought that was huge. And it, I've seen how much different... I ran in Oregon than I did at home, so I know that something great will happen. Are you still studying at the University of Oregon, or are you finished and graduated? I'm still studying. I have one more year left. And which, what subject? Uh, general Social Science, Crime Law and Society. Becoming a professional, is it totally different? Or? Definitely different. I can tell you guys that at Oregon they definitely spoil us, and so it was definitely different, you know, having to step out and grow on your own and not having someone there pushing you along the way and holding your hand and so, but I love it. I'm very independent as a person and as an athlete and so for me the professional life was something that I've wanted since I was little and I was ready for the task when I made the decision. So oh, you don't need Ashton Eaton as mentor in the <laughs> He's definitely still a mentor. He's a great guy. I have learned so much from him throughout, you know, talks I've had with him and just watching him as an athlete here at Oregon and growing and, and becoming, you know, the athlete that is the you know greatest athlete in the world. And so he's definitely one of the best people I've I've encountered and, and definitely helped me grow. So you will ask him advice in Moscow or? Of course, of course. It's always uh, a family thing. We're both organized and we're both, you know, University of Oregon Ducks and so we kinda have that connection where he'll he'll know when I'm stressed out and he'll be able to give me a couple of words. Not so much. Uh, coach John Smith is a coach that's very smart, very intelligent, and knows the sport. And uh, he's been watching me, you know, throughout my NCAA career, and so he he um, pretty much knows just enough to be able to keep what I have. You know, our goal right now is just to, you know, stay sharp. You know, my my strength and my fitness is already here. I've been training for nine months, and so his his goal is just to really just keep me sharp, keep me fresh, and work on little things. Who was your coach before John? Robert Johnson.